I warned them. The eternal album. It was good. More gift for the Join her and the great spirits. I know your story. The jungle dragon was stirring, and you carried Glint's egg to safety. I can only imagine your feelings of hope as the pact rallied against Mordremoth. Your sorrow when they failed. You gathered your hunting party and took the fight to the heart of the jungle. The beloved hunter we celebrate today, Heir Stagalkin, was felt forever. And a revered leader sacrificed himself to help all of Tyria. Despite such great loss and overwhelming odds, you and your friends triumphed over Mordremoth. Today is a day of celebration and of mourning. Tomorrow, you will hunt new prey. About Air as a young Norn, almost as soon as she could walk, she showed the instincts of a hunter. But it wasn't until she was as tall as a shortbow that she met evil for the first time. She came upon Dragonspawn attacking a farm, killing an entire family. The daughter Such was one of Air's friends. All by herself, Air took down three of them. She saved an injured kid and even carried him back to Holbrook. That kid grew up to be a great skull. His name is Corvin, and his life testifies to Air's first legendary deed.
Air had passed Longbow Height when she made her vow. One night, a hundred Dragonspawn attacked Holbrek. Jormag's Ice Brood were merciless. They brutally killed her friend Silas the Weaver, a crafter like Air herself. With Silas's blood still upon her, she swore to destroy the Ice Brood and all the Elder Dragons. A statue of an Asura among our legendary heroes. Odd. Oh, Air. I will miss you. I'll tell you how Destiny's Edge came to be. Air met the Asura Snaff and Zoja first, here in her homestead. They came to commission a stone carving of Snaff's head. During the sittings in Radasum, they became friends. Then the three, and Garm, returned to Holbrek together. I'll never forget how they shocked the citizens of Holbrek when they emerged from the Asura Gate. Snaff and Zoja each rode inside enormous golems with the stone heads Air had sculpted for them. They raided a frigid dragon spawn cave, and a lasting friendship was forged amid the icy shards of bitter combat. Many ice brood fell that day, but still Beautiful. Air failed to kill Jormag's lieutenant. The three, nay, four, counting Garm, limped back to Holbrek, having lost their golems and their pride. In retaliation, Jormag's lieutenant sent a devastating ice storm onto Holbrek, killing many beloved residents. Newt White Bear was beside himself with fury and banished Air until she could defeat the beast. Air went to Lion's Arch, where she spotted a small guild of criminal pit fighters known as Edge of Steel. The first battle they ever fought together, they fought against each other. In the pit, Air and her friends, calling themselves Dragon Spawn's Destiny, fought Edge of Steel and won. She demanded her prize, that Edge of Steel help with the second assault on the Dragon Lieutenant. The Edge of Steel fighters had to agree. Ritlock Brimstone, Logan Thackeray, and Firstborn Kaith joined Air's cause. When Air next entered Holbrek, she was with Destiny's Edge. They went on to destroy the Dragon Spawn Lieutenant. It was the first of many important battles they would fight and win together. You made it. Of course, Newt. She was a dear friend. Let's head up. My people will be glad you're here. Some may have questions about what happened. I hope it's not why. I'm still struggling with that one myself. Aren't we all? Perhaps that's the answer Bram left to seek. He's not here? No. He arranged this and then took to the mountains. The fire inside that boy. I almost feel sorry for any of Jormag's minions he comes across. Sounds like he's working through it in true Bram fashion. Good. Make yourself at home. Your Tribune friend certainly has. Now I'll leave you to it, Commander. Speak with whomever you wish and celebrate, or pay your respects privately. The spirit of air can be found in either. I feel good. She had him dead to rights. We all knew it. And what was he going to do? Beg? Plead? Wasn't his style. And Air wouldn't buy it anyway. So, he just jumped off the ledge. Well, she wouldn't give him the satisfaction of escape, even to his death. She shot him before he hit the ground. <laughs> Damn, that Nord knew how to exact revenge. That's so just true. like her. <laughs> Thank you for that story, Tribune Brimstone. I'm not sure why no one's ever made a tapestry of that moment. Oh, hey, good to see you, Commander. You too. Spreading a little air cheer? Uh, things were getting too serious. Just ensuring they remember the right air. Hey, you're that Redlock Trombone, the Revenant, right? Close enough. Now why don't you do Uncle Trombone a favor and buzz off? But I want to hear about the Blood Legion! Don't you think quietly weeping in the corner by yourself would be more fun than this? Nah, this is fine. Yeah. Oh my. Have you heard from Zoja or Logan? I was crossing my fingers they'd be well enough to make this. Still both laid up on my last visit. Hmm, too bad. 
Mordremoth's death came with a great toll, for sure. You know, with those two out of the field, and Snaff and Air gone, and Kaith, well, there really is no Destiny's Edge anymore. I'm sorry, Ritlock. I know how important it was to you. But there's no sense in looking back. Maybe it's time to start again. Another guild? Would Air want us to do that? She wouldn't want us to get caught up in her death like she did with Snaps. Regret gets you nowhere. And... Tyria would probably sleep more soundly with the Dragon Slayer at the helm of a new guild. We could do a lot of good. It didn't go perfectly, but the small group we had was pretty capable against Mordremoth. What would we call it? Fate's Razor! I will not be part of a guild called Fate's Razor. What about Dragon's Watch? Dragon's Watch. I like that. Can I be in it? No. But I've got my Uncle Beamish's magical sword. Not yet, kid. Commander, come see this. What's going on? did I walk into? A memorial for Air. To you Air. couldn't have brought a better gift. Yeah. Nice work, soldier. We're both tired and hungry. Wasn't expecting all this. Garm's hurt, too. We should get him healing as soon as possible. What can I do to help? I'll send for a healer. In the meantime, there's plenty of food around. I'll do it. Rox, you rest. There you go, boy. You're home now. I still can't believe it. How did you find Garm? Tracked him from the crash site. Wasn't easy. The jungle's still crawling with Mordra. Some of them have come unhinged without their master's voice. Poor Garm followed air scent into the middle of it all. He was lucky to be alive. <laughs> we both are. Bram's gonna be so happy when he gets back. He's not here? No. He's in the mountains, blowing off some steam. Well, I'll stay with Garm and make sure he's okay. When he's ready, we can try to catch up with Bram. I'm sure the cold air will do Garm some good after all that jungle heat. Yeah, if I never see another pocket raptor as long as I live, I'll die happy. Come on. Let's get to what we're here for. Was it 
Crick. She died in battle. There was no prolonged suffering. You can rest assured that your legend will be remembered. craftsmanship does air honor. She was a great sculptor, drawing her inspiration and skill from Raven. Maybe you can explain it. I still don't understand why they didn't Bear bring Air's body back for a proper send-off. We couldn't risk her turning. Her son, Graham, took care of her himself. He honored her remains, I assure you. I thought only Silvari were vulnerable to Mordremoth's corruption. No, everyone was vulnerable. Anyone, Silvari or not, could be attached to one of their blighting trees. The trees created duplicates of people to serve Mordremoth. It was awful. You know, I've always said she was destined to be the next leader of Holbrook. I can't believe she's gone forever. She was a powerful ally. And a loyal friend. Greetings. They say you were there when Air met her end. What killed her? It was a powerful dragon minion, one of Mordremoth's most dangerous. An abomination. I heard it was the head of the Nightmare Court herself. Is that true? She didn't deal the killing blow. That was a vicious jungle predator called a vine tooth. had passed Longbow Height when she made her vow. One night, a hundred dragonspawn attacked Holbrek. Jormag's ice brood were merciless. They brutally killed her friend Silas the Weaver, a crafter like Air herself. With Silas's blood still upon her, she swore to destroy the ice brood and all the elder dragons. Legendary. Such craftsmanship. Spirits bless this endeavor. It's all so moving. Everyone, lend us your ears. The one who killed Zaitan with heirs to Gawkin would like to say a few words. <clears throat> We've all lost people we loved. And the pain of that... 
can be overwhelming, but we can't let that pain stop us from moving forward without them, without her. Instead, we honor, celebrate her life, the gift that she was. Air is a part of me, a part of all of us. How do we thank the gods for that? By living the rest of our own lives larger, better, bolder. We love, we laugh, we defend our world, and we fight for what's right. We do what she would have done. Homesteaders, hunters, heroes all, to air! To air! <laughs> The legend lives on. May the mountains hear me. To a brave warrior and friend. To air. Commander, this just arrived for you. Oh, thank you, spirits. Looks like I'm off to Radanovis. Ritlock, Powerful. care to follow? Sure, but I need to take care of something on the way. Or rather, tell someone I won't be taking care of History. something. Never mind, I'll meet you there. Sure. Rocks, Ritlock talked me into founding a new guild. It'd be great to have you. And pass the invitation on to Bram when you see him. I am, but we should Actually met don't. Them. I'll do it in person. I don't want him to think we're merely replacing Destiny's yes. Edge after his mother's death. I get it. And I think he will too, when the time's right. To a true legend. To my friend. Sharper still. So I told him. New regulations stipulate you must remove your boots and belt before traveling. And he fell for it? Completely. <laughs> he had to hold his pants up as he entered the gate. <laughs>
One second, please. Security breach detected. Gollum, what are you doing? Responding with full force. Oh, no, this is not happening. Stop! Hold! Oh, cease! Desist! <laughs> Take me months to repair you now. Timey, sorry about that. Don't worry about it. All this crunchy old tech's been overstimulated by the influx of magic. Glad you're here. Yeah, I got your letter. Funny. I also sent one to this guy, but he barely made it. Your note failed to mention how to navigate this Asuran playground. He got lost trying to find the lab. I had to follow the non-stop stream of char expletives to track him down. City of the future, my tale. It's good to see you. I was so happy when I saw your mission was a success. But then I heard about Marshal Traherne. He saved us all. His sacrifice won't soon be forgotten. But there's good news too. Ritlock says we're starting a new guild. So exciting! Glad you're on board. Of course you are! Someone has to be the brains! Haha, <laughs> kidding. In all seriousness, though, I suspect some of the things I'm working on in this place will come in very handy. How have you been doing here? Great! It's fantastic! Well, it was before every Asura and their Grand Mentor showed up. At least you have a lot of hands to pitch in at the Dragon Lab. What do you mean, Commander? I've never heard of this room you describe. Keep it down about the Dragon Lab. I don't want anyone finding out about it. Especially... Hello, progeny. Counselor Flunt, how lovely to see you. I'm so pleased you didn't end up on a Chalk's breakfast menu this morning. Uh, you can stow the dim insults. They'll never be clever enough to wound me. Now, have there been any new developments today? Why, none that I can think of. Allow me to warn you about keeping secrets from me, progeny. My wrath is as fierce as my intellect. Oh, that sounds terrifying. I wouldn't dream of hiding something from you, Counselor. Hmm. I'm totally hiding something from him. Let's head there now, but not the way you know. We're going through the gate. I've configured it to appear as if we're going to the command center, but we're really going to you know where. Except there's a catch. You have to outsmart the security measures. You're joking, right? Not this time. Give it a shot and I'll observe. See if you can crack the code. I'll give you a hint. Do exactly as you're told.
You cracked the gun. Am I Let's go. Sorry to put you through that. I need to keep people who may or may not be named Flunt out of here. Now that the subterfuge is out of the way, can we get to what you called us here for? Yes, this is a replica of the Leyline energy map we found outside of Tarir. I've been tracking the movement of magic since Mordromoth's death. It's been in total chaotic flux. Here, there, everywhere. See, that dot is the egg chamber. It lit up like a Lunar New Year firework after the dragon went bye-bye. But as you can see here, the egg's doing great! What are we looking at? A feat of the egg chamber? Yeah, the Exalted and the Rada Novans shared a ton of information. They must have helped them design their security system. And then you broke into it? No, I utilized it to check on the egg. So you broke into it. Hey, we're all friends, right? I don't think they'd mind. Just... maybe just don't mention it around any floaty gold people. Do you have access to surveillance all over Tarier? Back to the Leyline map! So this other point is... Huh, that's new. The Northern Bloodstone dot is flaring up. I'll have to keep an eye on that. The spot where Mordermoth died looks like it's cooling down a little. Yeah, a lot of that energy's been put back into the system. I'm trying to model its patterns, but this map isn't built for detailed readings. Yet. In the meantime, look at this. What is it? Not to toot my own warbler or anything, but I killed a chalk or two in my time alone here. Since the others don't know about this place, I couldn't ask to have defenses installed. So they pop up every once in a while when the lab's drawing a lot of power. Yes. Exactly! Get them! That sound makes my teeth ache! Stop eating cookies in your lab. I think they smell the organ I harvested. 
might be one of their kin. Ha! their goo. I'll clean that up later. Anyway, this thing is some sort of organ I found in one of the larger ones. It's part of their digestive system, and as you know, they feed on lay energy, so it got me curious. Any valuable findings yet? None I can explain right now. I ran some lay energy through it, and it came out different on the other side. Different? I'm not really sure how just yet. It was barely measurable with the equipment I have. I need to develop some other device to actually observe the phenomenon. What's that sludge you're keeping it in? Blighting pod fluid. Remember that stuff? It has wonderful preservative and even restorative properties. Fluid. From the blighting pods. The things that made horrible Mordrum abominations out of corpses. So you do remember it. Tiny, do you think... Maybe that might be a bad idea. Uh, you worry too much. In research, there's no reward without risk. And if I'm gonna stay one step ahead of everyone outside this lab, I have to take a lot of risks. But one thing I can't risk is staying away from the main lab too long. It arouses suspicion. Let's go. I got your back. You first. some group called the White Mantle. They're so short-sighted. I didn't capture it all. And I, I got some of the data in their crew with. What's they? Oh. I'm going to sneak a look at Tiny's equipment. Watch my back. Oh, man. She got out here without her golem? I don't know how she does it. as a bug. If my son were here, I'd introduce them. Imagine the progeny. The leader of the vigil? Oh my, she's quite impressive. <laughs> Don't tell him, but I can't quickly call him Blunt, because he is. Tiny got a raw deal on that waypoint device. I heard Sosha scrambled, drooling. It explains why Tiny is out here on her own.
General Soulkeeper, this is quite a surprise. What brings you to Rodanovis? You do, Commander. I've come here to offer you a new position within the Pact. The Marshal rank is, uh, vacant. And we want you to fill it. This is an honor. I'm glad you view it in that light. The Pact is hanging on by a thread. I see. I can tell you're having your doubts, so let me just be upfront about the role. Certain Pact elements feel like Marshal Traherne's mistake was going out into the field and getting himself killed. The new Marshal would be planted safely in an office in Lion's Arch, still leading the troops, but out of harm's way. As flattered as I am by your offer, I'm going to have to respectfully decline, General. After the Mordremoth battle, I believe I, Ritlock, and the others would be more effective operating as our own guild. I understand the decision on your early retirement, although I'm disappointed. I still believe in the Pact's goal. I do too, and I'll always be ready to lend a hand. It'll just be outside the system. Out from under a mountain of paperwork, you mean? Laugh it up, no eyes. I have something for you too. A letter from the Black Citadel. You must have really brushed some higher-ups the wrong way. Are you sure you want to just crumple that up and throw it away? Why not? It's what I did with the last two. What did I hear? You're not in the pact anymore? Wait, what do I call you? Puba? Uh, no. How about we just stick with Commander for now? Technically, it's a title for life, so you're welcome to it. What was that? It didn't sound good. Quick, let's go see what's happening. I came in through the caves because I couldn't find the gate. I wasn't expecting such an enthusiastic welcome. Did you see that? Plot was so mad, even his fleas jumped ship. Canuck, you're my hero. Why the surprise visit? I'm here answering the call. But Mordromoth's dead. We killed- Oh, it's not the jungle dragon's call. This time it's Anissa's. Still holds your billet, huh? She does. But certain messy events have transpired, and I'm assured that if I clean them up, my billet will be released, and I'll once again be free from any yoke. How can I help? Minister Codicus recently... <clears throat> left the Queen's protective custody. A niece sent me in a squad of Shining Blade to help the good minister find his way back to Divinity's Reach. Any idea on his whereabouts? There's been a flare-up of White Mantle activity in Northern Maguma, and intel points to him possibly heading there. That's the crazy magical hotspot we saw, up by the Bloodstone. I thought the Minister claimed to not be in bed with those Mersad lovers. Didn't we all? Ritlock, get word to the others. Marjorie might be getting a little restless in Divinity's Reach and want in on the action. Commander, if you like, you can hitch a ride on my airship. It's on our way. We can drop you off. Now that's an offer I can't turn down, General. Perfect. I'll grab my Shining Blade detachment and meet you there.
think it could be related to the death of the Elder Dragon? But we're extracting more and more each day. Follow me, please. Did I remember to turn off that... No fizzle! What? Let's get underway! destination ahead. Looks like we're in for quite a ride. We're not flying into that scramble, are we? My gods, grow a backbone. Scared of a little weather? We survived. Somehow. Our forward propulsion shorted out. What, what, what was that? I think... It's hard for me to actually say, but I think a bloodstone just exploded. A bloodstone? Then how are we still alive? Good question. But others might not have been so lucky. I'm going down to scout for survivors, see if I can piece together what happened and why the blast reversed itself. Watch your back and let me know what you find out. We'll try to get this bird running again. Kanak was supposed to meet me here. Hope he and his troops were out of range.
Last must have released the spirits of the victims sacrificed on the bloodstone. <laughs> die. Years of imprisonment twisted their minds. They don't know friend from foe. The White Mantle will pay for this. large chunk of the bloodstone still intact. And these foul things. This bloodstone must have been larger than anyone imagined. What could have caused it to explode? Fairly deadly blast. by bloodstone magic. May Grenth guide them to the next world sharp in peace. Blade, sharp mind. I feel good. White mantle. But they're different. The magic is mine. I told you. Be ready to run. Thank you. 
need help here. Another! I won't harm you. I've never seen an explosion collapse on itself like that. Magic was inches from my face and then it suddenly shot into the ground. You think a dragon was responsible? I'm not sure yet. That's what I'm here to investigate. I want to get into that crater and find out why the blast reversed, and where the magic went. Easier said than done. The area is swarming with white mantle. We sent a patrol, but only one soldier made it back, and she's, uh... This magic is not well. What's wrong with her? She was hit with magic unlike any we've seen. On the outside, she's fine, but it twisted her inside something fierce. She can barely move. She's been raving about floating purple stone monsters ever since she got back. Stone creatures. That rings a white mantle bell. Can you reach the Priory and see what they know about them? Sure thing, Commander. Have you seen Kanak? Who? He's a Silvari. Tough, but well-spoken. Medium build. A bit cranky. Can't say that I have. But I did see Kaith run through here like a centaur on fire. She wouldn't stop for anything. She just hauled tail through the war zone and was gone like that. Thank you. I'll let the General know you're down here. I'm terrified to close my eyes out here. Mursat preyed upon the weak and impressionable, who in turn worshipped them as gods. Calling themselves the White Mantle, these converts sacrificed innocents and toppled the Crichton monarchy. The chaos they inflicted on Tyrion was short-lived. They were eventually crushed, and their scattered remnants went into hiding. But pockets of their fanatical followers have been operating in the shadows ever since. Tell me what happened to your squad. Our platoon was on recon. We found something at the north edge of Verdant Brink, so we pitched camp. I've got the a plan was to scout the area at dawn, so we, we turned in for, call for backup. And everything went to backup torment in a town cart. We're probably on our own. There was an explosion, then screams. I grabbed my gear and ran out of the tent. Saw so one of my men lit up like a winter's day bonfire. Sabatha and her lackeys torched everything laughing as they went. And then... blackness. I woke up with a splitting headache, caged like a dog. Kept my mouth shut and just watched them. After a few days, I told them I was ready to talk. Said I'd cooperate in exchange for the safety of my troops. Told them they could use me for hard labor or experimentation, didn't matter. I'd made my peace with Grenth. I was taken deeper inside, thrown in a pen with some others. 
They deprived us of food and water. Let their dogs snarl at our cages. At night, we heard the other prisoners begging for their lives before being cut open. The sky would light up and I would hear chanting over and over. I'm sorry, Commander. It stuck you with think me. You Marksman Morocco will be okay? Ugh, I hope so, but it doesn't look good. Her condition is worsening. It's like that magic fry. What are you doing inside. here? After you rescued me, I notified the Queen about Salvation so Pass. Then I regrouped with my squad and chased some white mantle. Do something productive. So you were here Such for the blast? Thinking about it with your Craziest thing. It exploded, direction. then imploded. Like when you're a kid and you dangle spit from your mouth, then suck it back in. I never did that. Well, sure, me neither. But you know what I mean. When the explosion reversed, it... It was like it pulled at my soul. How have you been since Salvation Pass? I've been thanking Duena you busted me out of that infernal place. If not for you, I'd be rotting in a ditch. I close my eyes at night. I can still hear the screams. Men, women, they spared no one. I lost count. Anyway, I made my way back to Falgir's camp and rejoined the squad. Saw the field medic and got checked out. Then we sent word to Queen Jenna about everything. Gave her and the Shining Blade as much information as we could. The Pact offered to put me on leave, but I turned it down. No way I'm giving these murderers a break. So we pursued a lead on White Mantle movement and tracked the pigs up here. Look what they've done to the place. Sir, it's this shameful. Is the second near-death experience you've had in a very short while. Can't say I hadn't noticed. I'm either exceptionally unlucky or exceptionally lucky. Can't decide which. While the concept of luck is generally preposterous, the eternal alchemy does seem to favor you. Favor me? I went from nearly being executed by a giant bloodstone to nearly being blown up by an even bigger bloodstone. <laughs> Yet you survived both. I think you deserve a nickname. Uh, Bennett the Everlasting. Isn't that... Tempting the eternal alchemy to smite me for my arrogance or something? That's not how the eternal mm. alchemy mm. works. Is it as bad as it looks down there? It's not good. White Mantle hit in the blast are mad with hunger for magical energy. They gather any scrap they can find. The White Mantle? Could they have done this? And to what end? I don't know. Maybe it was an experiment gone wrong. Maybe it was supposed to empower all of them and it went awry. Whoever it was, we owe them our gratitude. That blast would have hit Lion's Arch. And they just rebuilt the place. I'd hold off on the thanks until we know what their motive is. There's a pack squad down there. They've already established a camp and are trying to get a foothold in the area. That's what I like to hear. Well, it's not all good news. Some other pack members were also caught in the blast. Just what the pack didn't need. More dead soldiers. They're not dead, but they've been twisted by bloodstone magic, just like the White Mantle. They don't deserve that. They deserve peace. I understand. I'd want the same if the roles were reversed. Thank you, Commander. Continue the investigation. Can you read me, Commander? Loud and clear, Timey. Finally! There's been tons of magical interference. Been difficult to get a clean line to you. Okay, I've been going over some data coming in from the blast area, and one thing stands out. 
The people who were within the blast radius who, um, survived? They need to consume the magic to live, but the magic's also driving them more and more insane. That must be why I've seen them snatching up bloodstone shards. Hmm. Then they have to have a way to harvest the magic inside. Yeah, I wonder how. I'll track down where they're taking the shards for harvest and see what they're using. Commander, over. Did you mean Commander out? It's okay. Communicator protocol takes a little getting used to. Tiny out. Time to do some real damage.
fragments scattered by the blast. Any update on the creature that hospitalized your scout? We finally got a message from Priory Headquarters. Hard to get a pigeon to fly through a magical storm in one piece. The description of these stone men matched an ancient weapon the Mersot and White Mantle used before the Crichton Civil War. They're called Jade Constructs. They were the Mersot's primary martial units. Floating Constructs? That sounds similar to the Exalted. That's because they're using ancient magic from a similar origin. Or at least that's my current theory, Pooba. Did your backpack just call you Pooba, Commander? It's a long story. Go on, Timey. There was a time way back when the Seers and the Mursat shared a lot of info. Why do you think they're all so floaty? So is there anything that'll keep me alive in a fight against these jade things? Remember that magical protection I told you about? That should work against jade constructs, too. It was based on seer research that Zinn, the founder of Rada Novus, performed during the Crichton Civil War. I highly suggest mastering it before you get in a smashy scenario with one of those jade brutes. Good luck! Time me out! I'm panicking. I admit it. This is a disaster. Keep it together, soldier. This is no worse than what we've seen before. You're kidding, right? Look at what the Jade Men did to her. 
And all this magic. There's too much. What are we going to do? Let's take it one step at a time. Right now, you need to breathe. It looks like there are magical scorch marks leading this way. Sharp blade, sharp mark. Say him. Feel the fury. It's me, Commander. Kaith! Bennett said he saw you. Are you...? Trying to figure out why the explosion reversed itself and the trail led me here. Look at these marks. Could these have been made by a torrent of magic? Possibly. You think something or someone was behind this? Or was it a natural disaster? Seems like an awfully odd natural disaster. You saw what happened, right? I've recently learned to not always rely on my senses. They can... 
This pedestal seems to be the nexus of it all. Let's look around and... Trevor! Incoming! Did you see that? That bloodstone explosion seemed to trigger some sort of magical echo. I couldn't really tell what was happening. Let's find some more bloodstone and see if we can recreate it. Get a clearer picture. This could give us an insight on why the blast reversed itself. Just a bunch of weapons. Are you sure about that? Because they're glowing. end up down here. I was returning from the grove when I saw the explosion on the horizon. I wasn't going to leave it uninvestigated. Good work getting this deep into the crater. Must have been moving like a shadow out there. It's what I do. Some bloodstone pieces next to this staircase. Guess this is how someone would get down here to do what... Whatever it is our test hopefully reveals. Hmm. I guess I really wanted it to be a natural disaster. I didn't want to think about someone tinkering with so much power. Kate, over here! I feel good. You're fit! Another! Time to do some real damage. What was your business in the grove? I was visiting the Pale Tree. How is she after Mortremoth's death? Ailing, but recovering. Although not well enough to give me the guidance I needed. Sorry to hear that. It's... Back to the task at hand. Those explosions expose some more bloodstones. It's a note. Must have survived in this chest. What's it say? It was the White Mantle, all right. Apparently they've been prodding the bloodstone for some time now. But it also hints at some sort of splintering within their group and a divisive leader. Must be Codicus. The Legate Minister? I should stop by Divinity's Reach more often. I'm out of the loop. Bloodstone under this table. Bloodstone here. Can't believe this operation was happening under our noses this whole time. This doesn't look good. Has always been perfect. 
See, that's why I have to speak now. I know you're still upset with me, and you have every right to be. I can't take back what happened, but I can tell you I know what I did was wrong, and I'm sorry. My wild hunt, Mordremoth's voice, they were tearing at each other, and sometimes I didn't know which was which. I was very confused, and I felt like the only person I could trust was me. That's the very time you should have leaned on your friends. Don't you see? I didn't know who my friends were. Enemies, friends, even Fowlin. It was all grey. I wish I would have trusted you, but I didn't. And now that's in the past. All I can do is hope you'll forgive me in the future. Keith, you don't have to respond now. I want you to think about it, so your decision is considered. Okay, well, let's see if our little experiment works. Ready? I'll take care of releasing their magic. Then what? Then we cross our fingers that we jumpstart the magic echo, and don't blow ourselves to smithereens. you were standing. There was only a brilliant light, devouring magic. Then some people behind the light didn't look so lucky. These silhouettes. They must have been vaporized by the blast. Who would have done this purposefully? Someone who just absorbed the lion's share of a bloodstone's worth of magic. Could have been Codicus. I have to find Kanak and warn him. If he's still alive. Are you up there? Sounds like someone's looking for you. Commander, Kadak ordered us to find you. Minister Kadakas is in the area. He's alive. I need to tell him about what we just witnessed. Point me in the right direction. Uh, Kate? You know what? I think I'll stay a moment. Maybe poke around some more. Are you sure? Will you be okay? It's fine, Commander. Remember? I'm a shadow.
another. Knock. Glad to see you're alive. I was afraid you'd been caught in the blast. We almost were, but then, not. Me too. Your troops? Some of them are still looking for you, and the rest are forming a perimeter around this place. I wanted to deal with the Minister privately. I really only need you there to corroborate events, should they go south. Plus, I ran into these two delinquents and figured Dragon's Watch could certainly Shut handle it. Marjorie. Ritlock. Showed up just in time to help us track down Codicus. It was all anyone could talk about in Divinity's reach. Canuck, you're here under the orders Countess of... Countess Anise is very concerned about Codicus's well-being. I'm to return him home, unless the innocent until proven guilty minister does something to change those plans. She must be very hopeful your plans change. I was instructed to be tight-lipped about it. But I will say this. Yes. Before we find him. Codicus may have been behind the Bloodstone's destruction and consumed its magic. If it's true, he might be a little stronger than we all remember. If he did, we can't just let him loose on Crida. Or maybe all of Tyria is his prize this time. I only want to be off Anissa's leash. Saving the world would just be a corollary benefit. For Crida! We have company! No one crosses the White Mantle! I'll surely succeed where others fail! These White Mantle guards aren't affected by the Bloodstone like the others I've fought. They must have arrived after the explosion. Then they came with Cauticus. We're close. Watch your step. Whatever this place was, that one snuck up it was on meant me. to keep the unwary at bay. <laughs> uh, close to this bloodstone. Strength has left my limbs. Any counter magic measures up your sleeve, Commander? You'll have to get nice my Nice work, Commander. Now. If I could persuade you to take care of the others. Time to do some real damage. Interesting. Countering the magic of these bloodstones returns whatever magical properties it absorbed. And I know a certain big-eared Asura who'd love to be here to study this. I heard that! Draw off the magic. We can catch the shield from the flux.
monster shall drain whatever energy gets nearby. If the commander is right about Cauticus absorbing bloodstone magic, that may prove handy. Sounds like we might have something ahead. Let me take the lead, Ritlock. I was given specific orders on how this was supposed to be executed, and I don't need you to defile it with your inclination to blindly smite. If that's a blindfold crack. Care to take the door, Commander? <laughs> Minister Codicus! You have obviously... Oh, he's not here. Ritlock, smite away. My pleasure. You'll never take him! I feel good. Do you actually think we've let you take him from us? He's not yours to keep, fanatic. These fools must be taught their place. Magic from bloodstones empowers me! What do you have? Nothing! Feel the fury! Replenish it. I feel the magic being drained from my shield. The bloodstones are... Hungry! Why do you think Codicus wanted them to collect bloodstones? Hopefully to weigh his pockets down while he jumped in a lake. He can't be far now. Move along, everyone! The loose magic here has certainly turned this area into a war zone. So, Commander, you really think Codicus caused the blast to reverse itself? Possibly. Kaith and I found Ground Zero and determined something or someone soaked up the lion's share of magic. His escape does seem conveniently timed to be in the right place at the right time. Kaith? What was she doing here? Investigating the blast. She asked that I forgive her for stealing the egg and everything. Hmm. I don't know if I'd be able to. I don't think people can change that much. Ever the cynic. See? Point proven. I'll never change either. Ask Casimir. It would be hard for me to blame Kaith for her actions while Mordremoth was alive. But let's save the philosophical arguments until after the Minister is dealt with. Then let's lay the man to rest. I think you mean return him to safety. Bah. 
I'll never understand human politics. Why do I feel like I'm repeating myself? You follow my orders! I don't know where these delusions are coming from. There is one white mantle. Do you hear me? One! Minister, I understand, but... But, but... Quiet! Now tell me again what this pile of rocks can do. Are there magic words? How powerful is it? Well? That's him, all right. Reminds me of a boss I had at the cotton candy stands when I was younger. <sighs> Everyone ready to crash his party? Time for your foot key, Commander. <laughs> Minister Kotakus, you've obviously been taken prisoner by these white mantle zealots. I'm here to rescue you and return you to the royal palace. Let's drop the charade, shall we, you ignorant thief? I will not be returning to Divinity's Reach until I wear the crown. So I'm clear. You're admitting you're associated with the White Mantle? Are you quite touched? I'm their supreme leader, and they will carry me all the way to the throne of Krita. Commander, did you witness that? I did. Then by the providence granted to me by Countess Anise, I hereby pass sentence on you. Codicus Beetlestone. Today is your last day on Tyria. Allow my blade to bid you farewell. Get them! Turn this thing on! What do you think of my latest find, Commander? It was a bit of a fixer-upper, but nothing a few bloodstones for our men. I believe it's safe to assume Codicus didn't absorb the bloodstones magically. Otherwise, he'd be down here himself. its rightful heirs. You are a heretic, Corticus, and you shall need no white mantle, for I am their god. What? It, it can't be. I am the last Marsat. Many years ago, you knew me as Lazarus the Dyer. I have returned from the brink of existence. No! You are a false god! The White Mantle is mine! Don't listen to him! Empty words, formed by the forked tongue of a snake. The human seat of power and its current monarch are inconsequential. We are destined to face more virtuous pursuits. My true believers, you're welcome to seek shelter in my light. To those who doubt, you're welcome to burn. There with your mouth agape? Get me out of here! No! Ah, Mesmers! Sorry, Montre, no offense to Kaz. Helpful if they're on your side. Annoying if they're not. I understand. He's 
gone. I'm sorry, Kanak. However, I can help to catch him. Doesn't look like there's any sign of Lazarus, either. The Mursat alive. We should immediately warn the Queen, but he appeared to be disinterested in Kryda. Surprisingly different from the last time the Mursat were sticking their creepy bird feet where they didn't belong. Marjorie, weren't you just saying something about people not being able to change? A virtuous pursuit can mean a lot of things to a Mursat. But I'll admit, I'm curious. Yeah, they might think it's noble to make a necklace out of your teeth. With Codicus not displaying any signs of excess power, I think we have to assume Lazarus was the one behind the blast. We need to find him, get an idea of what he's planning to do with all that magic. Codicus will want to hunt him down too. He won't readily surrender control of the White Mantle. One will inevitably lead us to the other. Then this will be a good way to start the new guild. A crisis. But hopefully, not a world-ending crisis. It's how I prefer my crises. Commander, can you read me? I have some news. I'm here, Timey. What do you have? Something possibly slightly marginally cataclysmic. I managed to finally get detailed lay readings from the map and determined... Well... What is it? Primordis is active. Dragon and a Mursat. Can't help but feel like we're surrounded. I understand your priority will be the dragon. Mine, however, is unfortunately spoken for. Looks like it's time to test the new guild's metal. Into the fire we go. Replenishing. <laughs> 